Mike here again. Sorry about the croaky voice doing the Daniel fast time. Not sure what's happening, but um, I haven't had much of a voice for the last couple of weeks. So anyway, we've been looking at Satan. And that's not why my voice has gone, by the way, either. And I just want to touch on some of his designations or his titles. Um, he's referred to as an angel of light, 2 Corinthians 11, 14 and 15. And it says, and no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It's not surprising then, Paul says, if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness, their end will be what their, their actions deserve. So he's an angel of light. He's also the accuser of the brethren. Revelation 12, 10. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah for the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. Just got to remember that. He accuses you before God day and night. 1 Peter 5, 8 says he's a roaring lion. Now, when I first got saved, I heard someone preach on this and they said he was a roaring lion with no teeth, that it was just a big gumby going, boom, 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 boom. But um, I don't believe that was um, correct. I think that underrated him something terrible. If he's called a roaring lion, then that's, that's what his character is. Peter says, be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And who would know that better than Peter himself? He's also referred to as the ruler of darkness in Ephesians 6.12. Paul says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. He's also referred to in Ephesians 2.2 2, as the prince of the power of the air. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sin in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who's now in, at work in those who are disobedient. And the prince of this world, that's what he's also referred to in John 12, 31. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. He's also a king, according to Revelation 9, 11. He's the king of the bottomless pit. And it says they had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon and in Greek is Apollyon, that is destroyer. 12 uh, Revelation 12, 7 says he is the devil, the dragon. Then war broke out in heaven and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought back. He's also referred to in Revelation 20, 10 as the deceiver and the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They will be tormented day and night forever and ever. So, yeah, Scripture says lots of things. He's Satan, he's Leviathan, he's Lucifer, he's Apollyon, he's Belzebub, and he's Belalil. Hope this helps you heaps today. Don't get discouraged. Plug into Jesus, plug into his blood, go to the cross. Bless. Hey, thanks very much for watching Hope is Alive channel. For more videos, you can click here or here. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Send it to your friends. Take care. You can choose now. Yeah, just anywhere. Yeah.